Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is Ishan loves chocolate. So first of all, we will be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we will be proceeding to the coding part, right? So before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, and make sure to join our Telegram community as well to to stay updated with all the videos that we are putting, opportunities that we are putting on our channel, and you can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. The handles has been mentioned in the description itself. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says, as we know, Ishan has a love for chocolates. He has bought a huge chocolate bar that contain n chocolate squares each of the square has a testiness level which is denoted by an array a ishan can eat the first or the last square see first or the last square like only two possibility you have to eat for ishan not you just a shot okay so first or the last square of the chocolate at once ishan has a sister who loves chocolates too and she demands the last chocolate square okay so now ishan is what ishan is being greedy and he himself eats the more tasty square first that's now see that's what brother does right so what he is doing is very clever he's eating the more tasty square first so what we have to do in this problem we have to determine the tastiness level of the square which his sister gets right so that's what we have to do so let's understand the same with the help of an example so here's the first example this is the array given to us right this is the array given to us so these are the testiness level of all the chocolates 5 3 1 6 9 so in the output for sister what we are getting the testiness level we are getting is 1 now see understand how so as ishan is clever so he will eat what he will eat the more tasty square first now he in eating also there are only two possible cases what are those like here he can eat the first or the last square the first this one or the last one so obviously if he's clever right so what what he is going to pick out of these two five and nine he would choose nine because it is greater then we are left with five three one six now out of five three one six five and six which one he would choose he would choose six right then we are left with five three one so out of 5 and 1, he will choose 5. Then we are left with 3 and 1. So from 3 and 1, he will choose 3. Now only 1 is there, right? So that's what his sister will get. Let's understand another example too. So here we are having 5, 9, 2, 6. So out of 5 and 6, 5, uh, 6 is having the high value, right? So the testiness level is high for 6. So Ishan will choose 6. Then we are left with 5, 9, 2. So out of 5 and 2, Ishan will choose 5. Then we are left with 9 and 2. So out of 9 and 2, Ishan will choose 9. Then only 2 is remaining. Right? So that's what we are getting in the output. So what our task is that the input is already taken care of by the driver code. We have to complete the function chocolates that takes an array ARR, size of array N, and return the testiness level of the square which his sister gets. The driver code takes care of the printing. Okay. So, expected time complexity they have mentioned and auxiliary space as well they have mentioned. Now, when I was explaining itself, right, the complete uh, problem statement, hope you must have got the approach that we can use for solving this problem. Very, uh, like, easy problem it is. Uh, I think here it should be easy, not just basic, right? So, it is basically, uh, we are going to use two-pointer approach. See, out of this and this, see, first or the last, out of first and last, Ishan has to choose. He is having these two options only. So, simply what we have to do, right, we can take two-pointer, one for the first one, one for the last one, right? Whichever is the value, for whichever the value is large, for example, here, out of five and nine, which is, uh, greater 9 is greater right so we will be reducing the value of that pointer so pointer will be 6 now now out of 5 and 6 6 is greater so reducing the value of this pointer right side pointer then out of 5 and 1 5 is greater reducing the value of the left side pointer so we are here so left is on 3 and right is on 1 now out of 3 and 1 which is greater 3 is greater so we will be reducing the value of left side pointer now left 
and right both pointers are pointing to the same position so when this scenario occurs that both the pointers are pointing to the same position so we have to simply return the element that is there at this particular position right so that's what we have to do so i hope you are clear with the logic part even so easy problem it is so let's understand the code now so here you can see we have followed the same thing we are having two pointers low and high low value 0 high is n minus 1 right so these are the two uh, integer values now what we are doing is while low value is less than that of high right we have to continue in this loop when they both become equal so it means we have to simply return the element that which is this uh, which is located at that particular position so if arr of low is greater then arr of high then we are simply incrementing the value of low else Otherwise, we are decrementing the value of high, right? And at the last, we are simply returning uh, ARR of low, right? Low or high, anything you can write because this loop will break when low and high will become equal, right? So, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you must have understood the problem and the logic part as well. Thank you so much for watching. The code is given in the description for the difference purpose. Don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.